And what's good, y'all? So, look, we back with some more 2K23 builds for y'all. Now, look, I know y'all boys tired of seeing builds. Y'all want to see the gameplay. I already know. I'm, I'm tired of showing y'all build videos, too. You know, I'm trying to go to the park. But to be honest with y'all, I'm not going to the park lacking like that. I mean, I'm about to expose some dudes in my friend list right quick. Hold on, bro. Y'all can say ill man or whatever. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm not going to the park. And I'm, I'm my three-point percentage about to be looking like this. First dude got a 33.33 point percentage. Come on, bro. Y'all got to stop being so fast going to the park, man. And then the next dude... He got a 35 three-point percentage, bro. Me, honestly, I'm not going to the park lacking like that, bro. That's why I'm still in my career right now. You know, if y'all don't know, bass grinding right now is a grind this year. You know what I'm saying? 2K23. Like I said, I'm not going to the park lacking, bro. I got to get my bad. I got to get right before I go to the park. But like I said, I do got some park gameplay coming for y'all soon on my Tatum build, man. You know what I'm saying? So look, before we get into the video, man, make sure you hit that sub button if you new and like the video, man. But first, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so today I'm going to be showing y'all these two lockdown builds. This first lockdown build is going to be a rare build name, and it's going to be crazy. I'm telling y'all. So this this first lockdown build is basically going to be like a Lonzo Ball type build. That's what I was going for, you know, 6'6". Six, six. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get into it. Of course, you want to go point guard, you know, right-handed jersey numbers up to you. And then for our height, man, we're going to go 6'6". Six, six. And then with our weight, we're going to go 2'12". And then we're going to max our wingspan all the way out to 7-3. Now, look, like I said, this is a Lonzo Ball type build, but it's a weird build name. Y'all going to see at the end once we finish doing the attributes. Like I said, this is a Lonzo Ball type build. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know you can make a, a lockdown build with better stats at a, sh a shorter height. That's why I'm showing y'all two uh, lockdown builds today, man. Like, y'all going to see. Let's get into it. All right, so starting off with the finishing first, man, we're going to put our driving dunk right at 75, man. And then we're going to put our driving layup at 65. I don't know why I always start with the driving dunk first. It's just something I always do. I don't know why. Then we're going to put our close shot at 48. So, look, we only get eight, you know, finishing badges, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? You're a lockdown, bro. You'll be all right. All you need is that limitless takeoff on bronze, really. You know what I'm saying? I mean, would it be good to get it to silver? It would be good to give it to silver, bro. But, hey, look, 75, it's cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're a lockdown. You know, you don't really need, you know, Silver limitless takeoff, you'll be all right. And then you still got the bronze slithery, bronze posterizer, bro. You'll be all right, bro. You good. Now as we come down to the shoot, man, first we're going to put our three-pointer right at 85. We're going to leave it right there. That way you still get that limitless range on silver. You get dead eye on silver, agent threes on silver, and you get blinders on silver. Then you see in the tier two badges, you get gold catch and shoot, gold green machine, uh, gold corner specialist. And then for the tier one badges, you get that guard up for gold. Clutch Shooter Hall of Fame, come back here. You know, you see all them Hall of Fame badges. But what we're going to do, we're going to put our, we're going to leave our mid-range at 70, and we're going to put our free throw up to 63. So that's going to leave you with 18 shooting badges. I mean, shooting upgrades, you know. Now with our playmaking, man, all we're going to do with playmaking basically is we're going to put our pass actually right at 86. You know what I'm saying? You still get that Hall of Fame Dimer in Tier 1. You get a uh, Hall of Fame Floor General. But you, you're not going to have that many upgrades anyway unless you put your plus four badges from getting from my career on your playmaking, you know, just to get that Hall of Fame Dimer or... And Hall of Fame uh, special delivery, you'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, your ball handle, we're going to keep that right at 54. And then put your speed with ball at 41. Look, you're a lockdown build. You're not going to have that many playmaking badges because something got to give. You basically, you basically going to be focusing on shooting and defense. Now with our defense, man, what we're going to do, we're going to put our interior defense and max that out. Max our, We're not going to max our perimeter defense out on this build because you still get Hall of Fame clamps. As you, as you can see in the Tier 3 badges, you still get Hall of Fame clamps. Hall of Fame Challenger, and then with the Tier 2, you get Hall of Fame Pick Dodger and Hall of Fame Menace. Now with the Steel, we're going to match your Steel all the way out. Now look at all our Hall of Fame badges in Tier 2 and Tier 3, bro. I mean, it don't get no better than that. And then with our Block, we're going to max our Block out. Too. Well, not, we're not going to max it out. We're going to put it at 77 just so you can still get that uh that anchor on bronze. And then you got Chase Down Gold. And now with our Offensive Rebound, we're going to put that right at 42. And our Defensive Rebound, we're going to leave that right at 84 just so you have 28 uh defensive upgrades you know what i'm saying so now looking at the upgrades you got 8 18 10 and 28 now remember you still get the pl plus four from my career you know i plan up seven games when you become a starter you still get the plus four bro so you can add all them plus four on your uh defense and that'd be 32 potential upgrades on defense now as we come down to the physicals bro we're gonna put our speed at 90 we're gonna max our acceleration out Y'all know we got to max out that strength because, you know, you're a lockdown. You're 6'6". Six, six, you're a point guard, bro. You try to get bumpy out there. We're going to leave our vertical at 60, and we're going to put our stamina up at 90. You know what I'm saying? It should be 95, so I'm going to go tweak something right quick. But this is basically what the build is going to look like. I had to put my stamina at 95. Basically, all I did was just drop my uh, offensive rebound down. It was at 50. I just dropped it down to 42 just to get that 95 stamina. Now this lockdown build looks solid. Now let's go ahead and get into the badges. Now with our takeovers, bro, as you can see, man, we got string clamps. And then with our secondary takeover, man, we could put a uh, perimeter badge drop or either enhanced jump shot contest. 
I did tell y'all I was basing this build off of Lonzo Ball build. As you can see, we do got shades of Lonzo, Walt Frazier, and then Jontae Murray. But anyway, man, look at that build name. Two-way diamond three-point shooter. I mean, this is not a catfish, you know, lockdown build. I don't know what it is, but that build name, bro, the rare build names this year is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. For our finishing badges, man, since we only got eight upgrades, I'm gonna just put John Schlier, probably, I'll probably put that silver, put a rise up on, back down Punisher on, just in case you gotta, you know, back down on smaller guards, put Acrobat on. You really just putting on a whole bunch of bronze badges, to be honest with you. Then you probably put, I don't know, probably put Pro Touch on. I'll put Pro Touch on silver, matter of fact. That's all you're gonna do with your finishing upgrades, really, because you ain't really ain't got too much to do. You're not gonna have no core badges with finishing anyways. Like I said, it's a lot build, so it really don't matter. Now, as we go to our shooting, man, this is where it get interesting at. So we're gonna have guard up on gold. I'll put, when I put amp on, I don't even know if I'll put amp on. Catch and shoot, probably put that gold, corner specialist gold. And then, y'all already know, limitless range. If you like, hey look, if you like that, if you really like that as a lockdown, you know, from the shooting, I'll probably go, I'll probably go uh, limitless range, silver. I'll probably put that as a core badge. And then I'll put my Agent 3 badge on, on bronze, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you really like that, and you want to put that limitless range on, man, go ahead and do it. Playmaking-wise, bro, come on, man. You know you got to have that gold diamond. I mean, even though you're a lock, don't mean you can't steam nobody. Got to have the vice grips on, you know, so you won't get plucked. Uh, I'll put... Will you put Bell out on? I'll probably put Bell out on if I was a lock. I don't know. I might make this lockdown build. I'm not going to lie. I ain't never made a lock, but since defense really like that this year, I might make a lock this year, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I still can play defense without a lockdown build, but just to go out there and just, I don't know the feel what it, what it would really be like if I had an actual lockdown build to play on. If our defensive badge, this is where it really get crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Now remember, you still get plus four with the my career, you know what I'm saying? The plus four badges, so I'll probably put workhorse on silver. Hold on, bro, hold on, bro, hold on, bro. Gotta have that gold pick dodger. Put Menace Gold. Need that clamps. Come on, man. Need that clamps. Need that Hall of Fame clamps. Hall of Fame glove. You know what I'm saying? Interceptor. Should I put that on? I ain't gonna lie. I'll probably put Interceptor or either. Nah, nah. We need that Challenger, bro. We need that Challenger on Hall of Fame. I ain't gonna lie. We need that Challenger on Hall of Fame. So, I'm, these are some crazy badges for a lockdown. I'm not gonna lie. This all the really, really that you need. Like I said, you still get them plus four for your. Uh, you know what I'm saying? For your defensive badges, you know what I'm saying? You get them extra plus four badges. Now, let's go ahead and hop into the second build right quick. Now, for the second lockdown build, I'm going to show y'all, man. I'm going to go 6'3". And by the way, we still at point guard position, by the way. I'm going to go 6'3". I'm going to put our weight at 203. And then we're going to put our wingspan all the way out to seven feet. And then, you know, we still going to go defined. Now, due to the fact that this lockdown build is 6'3 instead of 6'6", six, six, it's going to have a little bit better attributes. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have a little bit more shooting. And you're going to have a little bit more uh, defensive badges. I mean, upgrades, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, with the finishing on this build, we're going to go drive a dunk, put that at 80. And then we're going to put our uh, drive and layup right at 70. And then we're going to leave our close shot right at 47. Now, look, like I said, you already get limit. You get limitless takeoff on this one just because you 6'3 and we got a higher drive and dunk. On a 6'6 build, you only had bronze limitless takeoff. For the shooting, just like our 6'6 build, we're going to go 86 on this one. And then our mid range, we're going to keep it at 72. And then we'll put our free throw at 70. Now look, you still get limitless range on uh, silver. Still get agent threes on silver, all that. You still get the Hall of Fame, uh, the badges, you know what I'm saying? You get gold corner specialist, gold guard up, gold catch and shoot, gold green machine. You still get all that. Now with our playmaking on this build, we're not going to have that many playmaking badges just because, uh, you know, you got to sacrifice something. Y'all know how the builder should be by now, you know what I'm saying? We got to sacrifice something. So this one, we only go put our pass accuracy on 78, which is still good, by the way, you know what I'm saying? You still get them plus four badges. I'm going to keep saying that because if you ain't got them plus four badges from my career yet, you know, you'll find out soon. But you still get Dom on silver, which is good. Bailout silver, special delivery, and then you still got vice grip on uh, bronze. Now with our ball handle, we're going to keep that at 51, put our speed with ball on 44. Defense on this build is gonna get crazy because you get way more defensive upgrades with this 6-3 build. So our interior, we're gonna max that out. We're gonna max our perimeter and our steel out. You, you see all them Hall of Fame badges in tier two and tier three. With our block, we're gonna max that out. Max your uh, offensive rebound out, max your defensive rebound out. Like I told y'all, y'all get way more upgrades on this 6-3 build than the 6-6. And then with our physicals, man, max the speed out, acceleration out. You got 94 speed, 90 acceleration. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, hey. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like this, this lockdown build better. That's why I showed the first one first, just so I kind of get an idea of which one y'all wanna meet. Now with the stamina, max that all the way out. 
put your vertical on 72. And look, just because you uh 6'3, you still got that 76 strength. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I, I kind I feel like I like this build better just because you get that 99 perimeter D and 99 steel, and you get way more potential uh upgrades on your defense. Also, with the takeovers on this build, man, we still get the clamps and enhanced jumps that I can test, but also you can see we do get glass tape just because we got a high offensive rebound and defensive rebound we match those out so like i said i don't know i'm kind of leaning towards more of this lockdown build better but y'all let me know which lockdown build y'all like the best but i'll still probably go extreme clamps and hands jump shot contest on this build then you see we still get the shades of lonzo ball and drew holiday man and then the build name comes out as a three and d point like i said bro both lockdown builds are good but i feel like a lot of y'all probably gonna lean more to the six three one just because it get it has better attributes, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, it's your boy DJ. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Gameplay coming soon, man, and I'm out.